Step 3. The ITDR. An individual training data record, or ITDR, is prepared for each person associated with the compounding process. This record standardizes the installation of each individual operative into the CSP process and documents that person's initial training and validation, as well as periodic training and revalidation activities. Each person participating either directly or indirectly in the CSP process should have an ITDR generated and updated to assure that they understand and are capable of performing their assigned functions without compromising the integrity of the process. This should include all compounding personnel as well as engineering, housekeeping, and any other individuals who impinge upon the CSP process in any way. The DMS also provides validation summaries, a report of all personnel due for revalidation and the dates due, along with the required assessment of aseptic technique forms and four different written tests and grading keys. Equipment logs for laminar airflow equipment, refrigeration, and compounders are also printed from the DMS. Step 4. The Compounding Manual. The Valitech five-part compounding manual is then issued to each candidate and documented in the individual's ITDR. This manual provides standardized instruction in both theory and practices in quality assurance, engineering controls, barrier controls, the nine core aseptic techniques, and compounding calculations. It is recommended that the preceptor familiarize the candidates with the features of the compounding manual, pointing out definitions, learning objectives, highlighting features, and the self-evaluation questions. The candidate should be instructed to complete all self-evaluation questions without making reference to the answers contained in the appendix. Step 5. The Audiovisual Program. Next, the five-part audiovisual program is presented to all candidates. This program is available in either VHS cassette or fully authored DVD formats which parallel the compounding manual. It is recommended that viewing sessions be attended by small groups of four to ten candidates each. Each candidate should follow the presentation in the audiovisual viewing guide which will allow the candidate to enter comments and any questions on the material covered. This will promote close group discussion for clarification of the program content and how it relates to your specific CSP operations. Upon completion of the AV program, the appropriate entry is made to the candidate's ITDR. Step 6. Assign a period of supervised practice. Following completion of the didactic portion of the Valitec program, Repetitive periods of supervised practice are carried out. During these sessions, candidates apply the principles and procedures learned to practice compounding, in some cases correcting previously learned improper techniques with the proper methods. Step 7. Administer the written test. Upon successful completion of the supervised period of practice, the written test component is administered. One of four possible written tests contained in the DMS should be used and graded with the appropriate test grading key. A minimum grade of 90% is required for successful completion of the written test. Results of the written test are then entered into the candidate's ITDR along with the appropriate suspense date for annual retesting.